Hiya, just a quick video today on having a look at this old oscilloscope. This is a Tektronix uh, 7603 oscilloscope uh, mainframe with the plug-in modules. Uh, the nice thing about this particular one is it's got a very large display and a good bright display as well. Uh, although these are, this is from the 1970s, it's uh, obsolete technology. Uh, it's the old CRT oscilloscope and these days the handheld oscilloscopes like this are, are equally as good if not many times better in functions but there's still something nice about these they were really well made and I doubt that in you know uh, what's that 40 years time this would be as useful as this is it's, uh, it's been unused for quite a long time and uh, I'm trying to get it to work again um, so f generally because these things have tantalum capacitors in them uh, I tend to try and start them up slowly on a very app for the first time if not been used a long time particularly when this kind of vintage and we can unplug the uh, two modules for the amplifiers and the time base so with these out and no and the power on there's no no light uh, comes on so they seem to be pretty dead although I can hear the um, transformer does run so we'll investigate a bit further So on the amplifier board for the deflection plates there are test points along here and our minus 15 and our plus 15 volts here but there's no minus there's no plus 15 but the rest are present so that takes us to this low voltage board so no 15 volts on this uh, from this supply it's been tracked down to this transistor here uh, so the transistor itself has gone open and I've replaced it with a similar one but not the exact same type so I'm going to have to cut the legs slightly shorter and this replacement transistor the nice thing about these old scopes was they, they socketed the transistors which is quite nice um, so I'll say this one's got uh, I think it's the emitter base is open circuit. This isn't exactly the same thing, but it does does the job. So now I got 15 volts here, but there's a five volts as well derived from the 15 volt supply, which isn't present and is pulled down. You can disconnect the uh, supplies where they go out onto the board, so you can check for the voltage of some. So something's pulling the five volts down. Um, it's very debatable whether it's worth fixing these. These are really old oscilloscopes nowadays and pretty much obsolete. So the other nice thing about these oscilloscopes is being Tektronix, so there's plenty online, so it's very helpful to find the uh, data online and also all the uh, circuit diagrams are online as well, so that makes repair a great deal easier. So easy to replace components when it's maintenance is thought about when you're designing these things. We have now got a situation where we weren't getting 5 volts. Uh, we weren't getting 5 volts supply, something was pulling it down. But what happens to be now on? We've now got control of these lights and the 5 volts appeared back. We've got 5 volts back on this reel. So the, these lights must have been shorting something to pulling the 5 volt supply down. So there we have it. It seems to work fine. This is quite a nice scope with the uh, dual trace, but it's got the uh, values also displayed on the screens. This tech scope uh, had a really large display screen and it's got a really bright display which is quite nice uh, although it's quite an old vintage. Um, uh, now it's working, really haven't a clue what to do with it. Um. Okay, thanks for watching.